welcome to the NES Pursuit. Hey man, want a ride? Yeah, I just picked this up for a buck. 100%. Here you go, Ricky. We put that in our drawer of doom and I'll go pay the man. All right, just dug through all of this. Took me a little while. Found some decent ones, but I ended up picking up these two are going to be 10 bucks for both of these. Absolute great deal. And even with a dirty reseller's hand looking too. And I beat him to it because he was trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> I can't wait to play all of these games and enjoy them for hundreds of hours. I can't lie! Next booth already. This is cool. I know these aren't like hold any valuable or anything, but, but Sigma is cool. Little Wii console lying around, but you know, I've had too many of these. Bought way too many. Don't need another one. Third party N64 controller. So digging through comics, just been poking through. Nothing that I needed, but I did see, and I'm still looking for them, some Looney Tunes stuff, which I always think is awesome. So I'll grab some of those. Oh yeah, look at these. They're so great. Such good artwork on Looney Tunes. Oh, looks like that was the last of that stack anyway. All right, check it out. I just picked up all these at our homies booth as well as he disappeared. But what I found to be most interesting is I found all these dire Dinosaurs for Hire comics. Now, if you don't know, there's a great Genesis game called Dinosaurs for Hire. So when I found these, I was like, I have to pick them up. I don't even necessarily care if these hold any value. I just think they're so cool. A couple more Sonics were in here and I did end up picking up a ton of the Looney Tunes ones. I don't know if there's a good way to display these, so I'll see what I can do with that. But otherwise, picked up about 50 comics or so, something like that. So super stoked, super rad stack, and I'm really most excited about these, to be honest. The homies at the Swap Meet walk over flexing. What you got there, bro? Honestly, dude, I really appreciate the birthday gift. Like, God is good. <laughs> he tells us to give. It's better to give than to receive, man. Thank you guys so much. Like we'd be bestest friends forever. Long story short, this morning's feeling good already, but Ricky picked up like a bunch of Animaniacs. This is, I love this. Look hello, that. Oh, hello, nurse. nurse. Hey, that's dope, Ricky. What other did you pick up? You pick up a bunch of, ooh, from Usagi. Usagi, more Animaniacs. Wow. Animaniacs. I love Pinky it. in the Brain. Ooh, that's a great cover. Ooh, that's a good cover, art too. Ooh. Super good, Ricky. We are just, we're just who are you? Dude, honestly, who would have guessed comics? <laughs> honestly. No one. How much of the VHS? Dollar each? Oh, five each. Never mind. <laughs> All right, just randomly came across these. It said five bucks for both. I, I think I'm gonna have to. That Toys R Us branding is so sick. So I did pick them up. Just got them out of that booth right there. And I think it's super cool. Look at the branding. This is one of those Toys R Us things that I've just never seen in my entire life. So really cool. Got the original stickers on there. This one's cleaner than that one, but just beautiful piece of art. In to the bin. Already, baby. All right, just picked this one up for $2. Super sick. Show me what you just bought, Ricky. Just got this Look at official, limited, OG. Same thing on the back? Nothing on the back. Oh, that's okay. Very cool, Ricky. All right, Ricky, make it onto my phone and I'll give you $5. Wait, wait. Wait, make it onto your phone? Gotta be on my phone. Five bucks if it lands on my phone and covers the screen. Not even close, but I will make it inside of your thing. <laughs> Nintendo games. Tech Mobile, Spy Hunter, Rad Racer, Atari Paddles, Street Racer, a, a 2600, a couple consoles. On, ooh, I like this. I like all of these a lot. Oh, shoot. Yep, I think I like all of these. How much are the VHS? Five bucks. Five bucks? Dang it, five a piece. But still, I mean, some good ones. I'll take another peek right now, but you know. Maybe, maybe I'll look at a couple. Oh, but there's definitely some great ones in here. And this Godzilla one, King of the Monsters, is one of my favorites right here. Check it out. Beatles? Beatles! Ricky and I have talked about it before. I just saw this man, just saw this. <laughs> one of the best <laughs> albums of all time. The best of red, oh, also, Dusty! <laughs> also, Ricky, look, one of our favorite albums as well. Oh. Dang, dog. Band on the run, and Brett, oh, really some it. Abby also. Imagine if we had this one. Imagine if we had this one. And imagine the road to get there. Oh, but Ricky just, what is going on with all these? Look, dude. Super rad albums right here, some of our favorites. Ricky, Shaft. Yo! You see the Moody Blues? Yeah, oh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, that's a great one. Oh! oh my that's one of the best this. ones ever right here. George Harrison, All Things Must Pass. Talk about music. Oh, there, there's that too. Saga! Mm. This just genuinely made me laugh when I walked by. 
<laughs> Look at this sweet Pete Infit costume. That is fantastic. Oh, and there's a Popeye. That's really funny. If you want to go as a family, I mean, look at this. You got father, you got daughter, and, uh, you know, debatably, if we can find olive oil in here, you're in, you're in luck. If there's one movie I probably haven't talked about that I love, it's Fiddler on the Roof. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Or, if I were a rich man, yibbidibbidibbid. <laughs> How much is this guy? Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Hey, no worries. So, Ricky, so yeah. far my score of the day for me. Dude. I walked up, nobody was around. You guys were all talking. Actually, I saw you guys start to talk to Blake, and I was like, now's my chance. <laughs> and I walked over, and I saw it, and I was like, how much? And the lady said 30. And then I kind of just, like, stared, and I didn't even ask. Yeah. And the other guy that worked there was like, 20. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, pulling out my money for the 30. But check it out. I didn't even show it, Ricky, really. It. I got a Super Nintendo with controllers. No cords. I do have cords at home, but this is a bootleg Nintendo controller. But Super Nintendo with controllers. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. A great That's deal. I've seen better. Oh, you haven't? Oh, we're on my channel? <laughs> <laughs> these just walked up to us, literally. Said 50 bucks for all these. But not only is Conquest at Crystal Palace a pricey game, but it's a great, fantastic game. Ricky, beautiful. You picking it up, 50 bucks? Yeah, there's a Mortal Kombat in there too. Nice, and it's coming from the man, Brian. All right, Ricky's still walking, but the games are Russian Attack, actually one of my favorite childhood games. Tetris, Zelda 2, and Kung Fu, Goal, Gyromag. I, I love this game. Screen. No matter what anybody says, I love playing this game with Rob. I really do, that's how I played it as a kid. And the big banger, as we said, besides Mortal Kombat 2, was Conquest at Crystal Palace. Fantastic, fun, all the above. Oh, Ricky, it's a clean cart, too. Ooh, what were you even thinking about? When I walked up, Ricky was like thinking at $50. <laughs> no, I was, still, I was still looking at it. Don't lie, like bro. You were just waiting for me to look it up so you could verify that it was worth it because you don't know what exactly. you're doing. Imagine not being able to know every game off the top of your head. Because I'm a genius. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, Pinocchio. Who saw the new Pinocchio? I all heard you just say no, me neither. And a reminder, we've probably been here for like 40 minutes, but look, that's what it looks like in our cart already. My goodness. One of the best smells in the world is cinnamon spice stuff during the holidays. It smells so good. Yeah. It smells so good. It smells amazing right now. Oh my God. The only thing is it makes me want to eat junk food very badly. Blake, Blake knows where it's at. Blake knows where it's at. What you looking at? Just some of the, the boo-boo random VHS oh, right here? Yeah. That's what I love to see. It's all about the weird and odd, man. I love it. Ballistic. Gangster party. Yo, that's sick though, low key. <laughs> so a possible, possible huge score. Possible. We're not sure. So these shirts, this brand new TGP, what is this showing up for right now? What are these showing up for? Ricky was able sold? to find two of them. Yeah, sold. Sold. What is the sold price well, on them? Well, one is sold. Okay, one how much? Is, is sold for 750. 750 in the plastic. In the plastic. But what do you think as like the Mr. Reseller guy? We're just like the collectors who resell. Help us out. I would expect that it definitely is valuable. Whenever there's only one sold, though, it's like you never know. Right? True, true, Could have been true, a one-off. It could have been like What is your estimated collector. Caleb Phoenix resale scumbag price of what you think what these will sell for? <laughs> I would start it listed at like 600 with best offer and wow. just see what happens. All right. Good like old Ricky. Ricky. These sell for $750. And you got two. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so Caleb, when we told you earlier that we score every single weekend and we're not lying. Every weekend, every weekend. I haven't scored. I know, but you suck at this. I scored a little bit. Digging <laughs> through bins, what do we got? What do we got? We got Teletubbies. Ooh, Toonsylvania is cool. I like this. Look at these old unused McDonald's Happy Meals are always so cool. Ooh, yeah. Mystic Knights. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, Jar Jar. Jar Jar. Ooh, Tatooine. Underrated or validly hated? Validly hated. Really? Yes, validly hated. For, for specific reasons. Uh-oh. Hey, you hear about the true story about that guy though, right? I, I, I feel bad for that guy. Okay, good. Me too. Yeah, yeah. poor really guy. Yeah. Ricky, some people call it annoying, but I say one of the greatest Christmas albums ever. So good. I don't care what anybody says about those songs that it might be high-pitched, annoying, abrasive to your Christmas moments, but I think for as a kid, that was... What is going at my butt right now? Ew. Caleb. <laughs> my goodness. It was Piplup. I didn't say stop. Dude, again? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Look at this Bobber. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's hilarious. How much is this guy? Four bucks for Bob Ross. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is pretty awesome. What do you think, Ricky? I think you need to pick yeah. him up. Bob Ross, Bob Ross. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll get Bob Ross. What else we got, though? If I can bundle him up with this. Whoa, dude. Alternate version of a Ninja Turtle. Well, all right. Oh, I see a Pokemon card in there. It's going to be a rare one. I'll tell you that much. All right, I'm going to get Bob Ross. Why not? And let's paint several little happy trees. Oh, I don't need a bag. No? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. I got Bob Ross, Ricky. Oh, Bob. Ready, Ricky? I got to make him. Come on, you know the drill. It's the part of the practice of how we live our lives. But, Ricky, I'm going to go really far. Chuck Berry. I'm going really far away. No! It feels like old times. Ricky is at a churro booth with Caleb. Wow. I'm going to flip it. Yes, come back yourself. I dare you. You guys won't eat it like that. You ready? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Vintage Welcome Back Cotter socks. These are actually really cool. Like to wear though. How much are these socks? Five bucks, Ricky, for some awesome Welcome Back Cotter socks. Should I buy them and put them on? I actually think you should. Okay. All right, he's going to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to buy some. Welcome back, Cotter. Sweat hogs. They're called sweat hogs. I didn't even notice. That's amazing. All right, Ricky just bought these cities. He's going to open them and put them on right now. Ricky, they're called sweat hogs, so hopefully they uh, make oh. you feel all right. <laughs> Those are actually really cool, Ricky. I'm not going to lie. Those are dope. Official soundtrack for the Ghostbusters. That is sick. The homie just walked up and said, what? <laughs> Smoking Yo, those, those are bad. awesome. Those are for us? Yes, oh, dude, you're awesome. Dude, we will put, we will you. display these with pride. These are going next to the- Reminder Nintendo for power. all those who keep saying it. No, we don't smoke, dude. but thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, man. Dude, you're awesome. You got that stuff today? Yeah, this stuff today. How much was that? This is 30, 30. and then 20 for the game. 20 on the GameCube he got. I wonder when you're gonna do good today. Hey, I got two figures, $5. This one, this one, yeah, this one's like 20 bucks. Really? This one, I have no idea. Ooh, look it up. Find out, find out, oh God, oh. Oh my, are these the ones from before? I've seen these before lying around. These are solely cursed Mickey. Look at Mickey's cursed, Caleb. Oh, oh dude, that's for you, a big tigger. That's awesome. Wow, yeah, I'm curious what these are going for. We'll see. A long time ago, we passed up on one of these, like in a very early episode. And a lot of people were like, dude, those are sick. I mean, they are really cool, but my fear would just be working. You know what I mean? Dude. Could we get this to work? There's no way this is gonna be off the bat with him. I mean, it's possible, but NBA ceiling <laughs> Ricky, please buy that for your bedroom. Please, Lord, put that in your bedroom. Oh An NBA ceiling fan, please. Oh my gosh, that's way too funny. How much is that? 20 bucks. 20 bucks, brand new. You're buying it. She says she would do me a bulk deal for all these. 20 bucks for these vintage. This is part of it, too. This is the female. Oh, yeah. She goes with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the girlfriend of it. Wow. Um, you know, I think I think I would do 20 bucks on all of these. I think I'll do 20 bucks. You got Graduation Garfield, Big Fat Garfield, Boxing Garfield, Kissy Gissy Garfield. I can never remember her name. Another different graduation and Baseball Garfield with the Argyle hat. I'll do it for 20 bucks. I got all the Garfields for 20 bucks, seven of them. Wow, Ricky, and how much did you get this for? 20 bucks for this NBA Sydney fan. It's all new inside. Wow, <laughs> worst angle ever. Worst episode ever. So this is one of those booths we like to show you guys that where you have to dig, where digging is crucial. Every booth just has like random games lying around in places that you would like, look, here's a PlayStation game right here. Here's a, a there's was another one down there that you can barely see. I see an Xbox logo down there. Look at this, tons of loose uh, video games. Caleb found a ton over there. So this is the place we dig and come back to you later. All right. It's gotten crazy wow and loud all of a sudden but check it out look at all this i can't even see my shot but ricky so far got the coolest thing here we haven't asked for prices yet but i think they're probably going to be pretty decent price so that is an og molding oven oh. ricky back they probably wouldn't even let you sell that kind of stuff nowadays that kind of stuff is uh 
Well, they'll burn the house down, so to say. Thank you. Roscoe Soldier, I'm excited for you Sorry to- Sorry for hurting you. He just shot me like a Nerf gun from far away, which I wasn't expecting, but it hit me really hard. Oh my gosh, an original Ouija board. Nope. I'm scared, I'm not going near it. All right, we left Caleb behind because that's like more bread and butter for him. He's scanning like crazy, finding a lot of stuff. We walked out, but just some DVDs, VHS, Blu-rays, all that jazz. I got a couple Batman the Animated Series. Uh, Caleb let me take it. Oh, even uh, one of your uh, Snoopy things was in there, but the coolest is definitely the creepy collars by Ricky. Jared, editor, insert a commercial now. You creeping? Oh, I'm so creeping and crawling. Creepin How much is the old TV? Uh, $10. 10 bucks? Yeah. That's not too bad. Ricky, you could check it out for 10 bucks. Let's see, Ricky. Pull it out. Let's see. Oh, it's really light. That's good. This would look cool in your room, Ricky. A little Sony? A little, a little Sony. Sony? All right, let's see the front again. Let's see the front again. Let's see. The front is really cool. It almost has like no layer over it. It's a solid state Sony TV. It would look beautiful, Ricky. You have a word for any chance? You gonna take it? I mean, worst case it makes cool decor. The $10 gamble. I like take it. take a gamble. All right, we purposely played it a little cool, but that TV is actually super rad. We actually went in there. I'm like, Ricky, don't overhype it because then they're going to be like, you know, charge you more. Actually, one guy earlier told Ricky, he's like, you keep on like you like this stuff so much. I'm going to charge you more because I know you want it. <laughs> That's true. He so did. I went in and I'm like, Ricky, play it cool. But it's awesome. I mean, this is like probably like a $70 TV or so. But Ricky's doing this to build a little TV wall display kind of thing, which I previously did, but I uh, lost room for it when my floor broke and I had to get rid of them. So Ricky's that was a sweet display. I'm you're, not gonna lie. You're gonna live the legacy of what I had going and do there it on go. your own. What do you think, Ross? <laughs> I love it. I think it's beautiful and I, I'm, I'm amazed. It's fantastic and I love everything. The slammer in here and the power of Val Kilmer when he was just bossing up in the game. Yeah, dude, he's something else. Look at that. Yeah, That's dude, rad. Also, so snap, crackle, and pop. Vintage uh, plushie guys yeah, all together. And then you everybody got in the so world, spice up your life. Everybody in every borough, spice up your life. People of the world, hi, yeah, yeah, I see ya. Hold tight. Six ninety four out of a thousand. I think I got Look a thousand. Look at Dust Ball just gave me a horror workout video a vintage one by by this guy actually signed it by the way too the guy who uh made these what other movies did he do oh uh, was it did a whole Puppet bunch Master, oh yeah that's, critters. <laughs> well you know i'm gonna see if my wife will be down to do this workout with me later all right the whole you, gotta, you gotta make a second video though okay i'll send it to you directly first yeah, follow okay yeah Thanks. roscoe said he actually has this that's shirt yeah. so i will gift this to you my friend Are it you is sure? now yours. yeah go for it dude. it's signed it is signed that is Brother. actually really cool unless that's it's awesome. worth a lot of money and the camera goes off you gotta give it back to me at lunch fantastic freaking day today with all the homies yeah. at the swap meet remember to subscribe to retro rick Speak see ya